Hey everyone, welcome to our Tame Impala video. Consider this the Pedal Partners Guide to Psych Rock. We are hesitant to do this video just because we love Kevin's music so much. He's actually our favorite artist. I was into Tame Impala much before I was into um, Shoegaze. Really helped me out through my teenage years. I got this sick tattoo to show for it. This tattoo is actually done really badly, so I wouldn't recommend their services, but please do contact me if you can fix the tattoo. But in this video, we're gonna use gear that Kevin actually uses, as well as some personal recommendations uh, of some newer pedals as well. The purpose of this video is to show you the individual components you need to create a Tame Impala inspired sound at the end of the video I will be putting all the components together to create that Tame Impala sound we all know and love so stay around for that that's right at the end of the video if you enjoy this video please do subscribe to the channel we'll leave links to our favorite Tame songs and albums in the description below as well as all the gear and some further recommendations gear wise all in the description below Kevin's used a variety of guitars in his career he started on a Roadhouse Strat Fender Roadhouse Strat around in a speaker then he used a 1967 Rickenbacker 335 Jet Glow around Lonerism. And now, since Currents and with Slow Rush, he mostly uses a J-Mascus Jazzmaster, and that's got a Roland synth pickup, which is really cool. He also uses other offsets, such as the Hextrom Impala and Hextrom Retroscape Impala. Today, I'm going to be using my Fender Player Mustang. Um, it was just the closest guitar I had to getting those sounds out of the guitars I have, and uh, that's why I chose to use this one. So one piece of gear that Kevin's been pretty consistent with throughout the years is his amp choice and that's the Vox AC30H2. We also spotted him one time in 2012 using a JC120 and you know how much we love jazz choruses on this channel. But today we're going to be using our Fender and Mustang GTX100. We have two of those because we love that stereo sound and they're in the 60s British shut-in which is based on a Vox AC30. I'll show you how that sounds now with my player Mustang. <laughs> So we wanted to show you the components we use to get a Tame Impala inspired tone today. First, we're going to start with reverb. Kevin actually uses um, Holy Grails, the big box versions. Both my Holy Grail Maxes are broke, so today I'm just going to be using the RV3, which sounds a bit like this. So you just want a whole reverb with a medium sized length. Alternatively, you could go for the Luma. It has a really nice whole reverb. And if you're just after the reverb side of this pedal, definitely check out the Keeley Realizer. Modulation wise, there's two key effects to the Tame Impala sound. The first one is the Electro Harmonic Small Stone Phaser. The second is the Diamond Vibrato. For this small stone, you can also get a nano version, but I much prefer the big box version. And it's actually the version that Kevin uses himself. It's much more gooey, uh, much more washy. It's much more, look at it, man. It's just beat up. It looks so cool. So definitely go for that. The diamond vibrato is one of our favorite pedals ever created. Well done, diamond pedals. But for vibrato, you might also want to try the Wars audio options, which are amazing. We've got the Julia. And we've also got the uh, newly released Stereo Juliana. And those two pedals are amazing for vibrato. And uh, Ross already are really nice folks and they make really nice pedals. You can also try it for both phaser and vibrato. I really like the Boss MD200. So you might want to check out my video called Dream Pop Modulation. Oh, no, what's it called, guys? I forgot. That. I don't know the names of my own videos, guys. But you know the Boss MD200 video on this channel. Go check it out, please. <laughs> Delay is a key part to the Tame Impala sound and for any psych rock really. So you might want to try the DD20 which Kevin uses. He also uses the Boss RE20 which is a space echo pedal. And he also recently 
was seen in the studio by yours truly using the Empress Echo System. It's an amazing pedal. Empress, you did an amazing job with this one. I love it so much. There's so much you can do. It's like the only delay pedal you're ever going to need. Uh, for the Boss DD20, you might want to try a more modern equivalent. That's the Boss DD200 I have right here. We also have a video on this um, that features the entire history of delay pedals in one video. So go check out that video now. Really love the Boss DD200. The whole 200 series is just awesome. So definitely check that out. In the dynamic section of the board, the drive section of the board, Kevin uses a Boss BD2 and a Dynacomp. You can use any compressor really for the compression part of things, but would it really be a Pedal Partners video, guys, if we didn't feature the Blues Driver? Go check out all our other videos with that gem, including how to sound like MBV and uh, Shoegaze and the BD2. Love that pedal, and so does Kevin, apparently. This is the first ever fuzz free pedal partners video. We thought we'd do one with no fuzz. So this is that. But fuzz wise, Kevin uses a variety of fuzz faces as well as the Earthquaker Terminal Fuzz, which is a really awesome fuzz you guys should check out. This here is the Trapper Fuzz um, from Fender. It's one I'm really enjoying at the moment. So I thought I'd just recommend it to you guys. And if you're a shoegazer, it's got a nice octave switch for those octave fuzz sounds. Thanks so much for watching this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it helps you out in your own musical journey. If you're after music videos, you enjoyed the psych visuals in this video, then definitely contact me because I make music videos and any other visual stuff that you could be after. We have an awesome Patreon for all of awesome patrons and we have a bunch of fun stuff coming in the new year there, but there's a bunch of fun stuff you can join in, including the Discord, share your music on our playlist. And you can also watch our intro to audio and intro to visuals videos. Please do subscribe, share with your friends and keep on gazing. Thank mm -hmm. you.